Hi, I'm Thomas with Hallogic. Today I'm going to show you our new free app called GVWR and how you can use it with BetterWay to be able to understand the ratings for your truck and your trailer. Okay, I've got my BetterWay unit. I have the app installed on my phone. So we're going to go ahead and first we're just going to weigh the truck by itself. We're going to go ahead and get the BetterWay plugged in going to hit weight to weigh just the truck. We're on a flat straight road. We're going to drive. So the truck by itself with the passengers inside and all loaded up for our trip is about 5,500 pounds. Now we're going to use better way to adjust the weight distribution hitch. So the first step of this is it's going to give us the tongue weight and it's coming in to just around 600 pounds. So we're gonna continue on with the other steps to get our weight distribution hitch adjusted properly. Now everything's in the green zone. We're ready to use better way to weigh the whole combination. So to get our gross combined weight, meaning the truck and the trailer and everything inside. So it looks like it's coming in to just around 10,500 pounds. Now that we've got our weights, let's switch over to the other app and see what these numbers mean. Okay, so this is the main screen of our app called GVWR. It's got a couple of default setups here with a different truck and trailer combination. You can rename them, copy them, delete them if you swipe to the side, or if you do a long hold it has the same options. So we're gonna go ahead and add our own setup because we got the ratings off of the frame of the door of the truck and from the owner's manual. We're gonna make our own setup, call it F-150. And that was a Jayco brand trailer. So when you make a new setup, it's gonna prompt you to enter the ratings. So as you can see here from the door frame, VIN label sticker gave us the GVWR. For that truck, we found that it was 7,050 pounds. And this tire loading sticker gave us the max cargo and payload. And for that truck, it was 1864. The gross combined weight, GCWR, can be a little bit trickier to find. We found it in our owner's manual or depending on the brand of tow vehicle, you can find it on the website. For that F-150, it was 16,100 pounds. So it works for either a travel trailer that's bumper tow or conventional tow, some people call it, or a fifth wheel or gooseneck trailer. Ours is a travel trailer. So on the VIN label of the trailer, we found the gross vehicle weight rating for the trailer. It was 6,500. The max cargo weight was 1,861. Okay, so when it loads, it's going to show you the weight of the truck with no additional weight, just a 150 pound driver down here. And for the trailer, it's showing you just the empty weight of the trailer. Because we use better weight to get our weights already, we can enter the gross combined weight at the top, and that was 10,500. And then we need to do the weight of just the truck when we had the passengers and cargo inside for our trip. So for our case, that was 5,500. Okay, so once that's entered, we can see our tongue weight, which when we did the weight distribution feature of the better way, we read that that was right around 600 pounds. So we had proper tongue weight. We're within our gross vehicle weight rating, even with all of the cargo and everything inside the truck as well as that tongue weight contributing. The gross combined weight is within, within the rating and we're in the green zone for the gross vehicle weight rating of the trailer. And so that's how you use our GVWR app with BetterWay. The GVWR app is available now for download on iPhone through the App Store and for Android in the Google Play Store. It's completely free, check it out today.